Hello and welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you will, hit the bell icon and you will be notified of new videos. So I received the Pilot Elite on Mother's Day and have been writing almost consistently with it every day uh, since then. So it's been about six weeks or so of writing with this lovely, lovely pen. And I wanted, when I first got it, wanted to do a review of it alongside of my Pilot and a Minky Falcon, which is another pen that I really um, love and rely on, especially for like letter writing and things. It just makes my handwriting look very, very well. And this one is, the Falcon is about twice the price of this one. And so I wanted to do some sort of a comparison. And, you know, I, I was kind of preparing for this. I just want to do a little bit of research. And it's I'm I'm actually not comparing apples to apples, so you, you know. Uh, really what I am comparing, though, is the gold nib that is in the Falcon, and that is that wonderful bent kind of a nib, uh, and it's bent on purpose. It's supposed to look like a falcon's beak. And then I have the Elite nib, which is also a gold nib, but I have to say this is a medium because I wanted it to show my shimmers and just maybe put down just a little bit more ink than this one does. So I wanted to just compare those two. This is a soft line. This is a medium. So you're going to see a difference in the nib sizes. So it's not a fine of the fine. Um, but I just wanted to just show you a comparison of the two. So let's just get started. I'm going to start with this one. And they both have diamine oxblood in them um, and so it's mainly for this one because it's a good match but I went ahead and inked this one up which I've actually kept oxblood in this one too just for writing I like oxblood in case you can't tell so it's just a nice standard ink so here's the pi um sorry yes pilot pilot And this nib is a soft fine. So what it's going to do is, and I've demonstrated this in my other video, you're going to actually get line variation because of the way this will have a little bit of give and so you can get very thin lines on the the side, the horizontal stroke, and then fatter lines on the downstroke. And where you can tell the difference is here. You get a very thin line there, and then a thicker line down there. And so because I like to use cursive and to draw, uh, this is actually just a, a joy to write with. It is not a true flex. Um, it is a soft nib, which means it's going to have a little bit of give and a little bounce to it, which suits me just fine because if I really want the the flex where I can kind of bear down with it, um, that is given to me by my dip pens. But this is a very nice alternative to that so I can actually like pick it up and have really no issues in writing. So that's just on bad paper, just ledger paper. And then here is the Rhodia dot pad, which is kind of my other standby.
forgot to indicate what ink it was. And I don't know if you can tell, but on here, you can see the line variation a little bit more because the ink is not being absorbed so heavily with the paper. Um, so it's allowing me to show a little bit of differentiation. Okay, so there's that. And then let me show you what this one looks like. So I'm gonna talk just a little bit about the Elite 95S. So it is a smaller uh, pen. It's actually quite a bit smaller. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna measure it out because I've measured it on my videos, uh, but I'm just gonna do a side, like a side-by-side -side comparison here. So it's, it looks like about almost an inch shorter. So it's a, it's called a pocket pen. It's a Japanese pocket pen, but even me with my small hands, I will use it posted. So a lot of people um, love that. And if you post this one, they become very, very comparable in size, as you can see. So really side by side, they are very, very comparable. But the problem is that the E95S has to, or the Elite, has to be capped because uh, unless you have small hands, this is going to be just way too short for most people to utilize. But this one does not. Um, also, the difference is that, as I just mentioned, the Falcon has give in its SF nib, soft line nib, where the Elite does not. So I'm going to just go ahead and cap it so that you can see. And this is and again, this is a uh, medium nib. So on the up and down strokes on the Rhodia paper, you can see that there is next to no line variation, but I wish you could feel the difference between the two. There have been some comments that I've read in reviews that the soft line nib or even the EF for the Falcon is very scratchy. You can you, I could hear the feedback. I don't know if you could hear it on here, but the Falcon definitely has some slight feedback, which I find very lovely. I, I like that. But the Elite is like, it's, it's like skating on ice. There is no feedback at all. Um, and if you heard that pow in the back, it's 4th of July coming up. So we have all kinds of fireworks because I live kind of out in outside of city limits, so they can pretty much do whatever. So if there um, are explosions in the back, you know, it's nothing to worry about, folks. It's all good. So let's see, medium, diamine, ox blood. And you can see how the paper's just kind of taking all the ink up. So not much line variation with the Elite, but it's not bad though. I mean, look at how similar they are just on bad paper as well. So let's look at the back here. The, um, here, I don't know if you can see what I'm looking at here. Ah, there we go. So it looks like the Falcon is actually putting down more ink than the Elite. Uh, even with a medium nib, so that's kind of interesting. Did not expect that, but I don't know. Maybe it was because I was pushing down. Who knows? But this is on bad paper, and they both look really nice with the diam diamond oxblood. There's a little bit of, uh, I don't know, a little tiny bit of feathering right there. Maybe slightly. So, I don't know. Um... What is, what is my takeaway? I think my takeaway is that for about $100 less, if you're looking at Pilots and you just want to upgrade or upsize your pen, 
um, take a look at the Elite because as I have mentioned, I've just been relying on this and I did not think I would want a medium because I love a, a tiny fine line and I, I adore the medium. In fact, I think I'm gonna get another one of those in a medium, um, but I probably should go for a fine, but I'm not because I like the medium that much that I would buy another one of these. And both of these have been just smooth out of the box. I have my Falcon video where I'm unboxing. It's just a wonderful pen. And I just, I don't know. Um, I'm a pilot fan, so it's kind of hard for me to say what I like and what I don't like because I'm really biased. So uh, if you wanted a biased review, you just got one. And uh, anyway... I think they're both good bets, and I don't know if this video was helpful at all for you, but uh, personally, I think it's kind of interesting to see how both of them write and how the medium is not much different than the soft line, uh, in my opinion, just even looking at it. So I can tell a little bit on the writing, not much here. So anyway, love both pens. I think no matter what you get, it's going to be a winner because it's a pilot. So there's my little commercial and I, they didn't even pay me for this. I just bought my own pens and I love them so much. So anyway, um, if you have any questions, would you just share and would you just check out the reviews that I've done on both the Elite and the Falcon and let me know what you think. Until next time, bye-bye.